Tallahassee, also in the path of that storm. They could see hurricane force winds and are worried about long lasting power outages. Workers are racing to secure buildings and construction sites across Florida's booming capital. ABC's Victor Okendo is there on the ground and has more for us. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. Here in Tallahassee and throughout the storm zone, they've actually lowered massive cranes just like this one to protect them and the surrounding areas from those incoming powerful and destructive winds. The big concern here, just take a look right behind this crane. Florida's capital is covered with trees. There is no doubt that when Michael comes through here, it will bring down a number of trees and those will bring power lines down as well. So we'll be looking at projectiles, a lot of debris. Uh, there will be road closures and power outages for days, maybe even weeks after this storm hits. So ahead of this monster storm, there are at least uh, 1000 utility workers already in place to help get this city back up and running. Uh, after the storm does pass, it looks like they did learn their lesson after Hurricane Hermine two years ago, which did a ton of damage. Uh, but just to put it in perspective, Hermine was just a category one. This one obviously much stronger. Robin do need to keep that in mind. Thank you, Victor. And we'll have the latest on the storm all morning long. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.